So when you look at the seismic parameters in protostructure, especially the seismic parameters are quite parametric. So when you open the seismic dialog, you will see all the parameters that are inside the code, especially the cities. Uh, and for example, a, a city may be located in a specific earthquake zone. So they are, they are, they are already inside the software. So you can, by looking at the helper tables and the pictures, or by selecting the necessary parameters, you can fill up the structural uh, options here, the parameters that are applicable to your structure, and elastic spectrum and design spectrum will be automatically calculated. For example, you may have a moment resisting frame with um, special ductility. So the basic behavior factor or the overstrength factor will be automatically fetched from the code and incorporated in the project. Of course, basic behavior factor, overstrength factor, or factors like lack of redundancy or any other factor are customizable further. Uh, and we also have here the analysis, um, analysis options like uh, application of accidental eccentricity, damping ratio, number of horizontal modes or number of vertical modes. Uh, you can even use user-defined periods in equivalent static analysis. So protostructure automatically performs an eigenvalue analysis to calculate the vibration periods. But if you want to use your own calculated values, you can enter them here as well. So protostructure in that case will not uh, will not use the value results from eigenvalue analysis, of course, for equivalent static analysis. So um, the seismic design and seismic analysis doesn't finish with the base shear calculation. After that, you have to evaluate or assess the irregularities in the structure. For example, for American codes, we have a torsional, extreme torsional irregularity, reentrant corners, diaphragm discontinuity, etc. So in plan and in elevation. So uh, protostructure will automatically determine the torsional, extreme torsional, or weak story, uh, soft story, or non-uniform mass distribution. Diaphragm discontinuity is not automatically uh, detected, but you have all the tools for diaphragm constriction. Uh, protostructure will understand the multiple diaphragm or flexible diaphragm. So you can use all the modeling tools, all the diaphragm tools, to cater for any diaphragm discontinuity. For example, if you have, if you believe that you have a diaphragm discontinuity in your structure, what you will do, you will just, um, in the analysis uh, model options, you will just play with or fine tune the story diaphragm model. You can force uh, and the whole floor, entire floor to act as a single diaphragm, or you can, uh, make protostructure to decide the diaphragm options for you. So protostructure will look at the slabs touching each other. Uh, so if they are apart from each other, protostructure will um, model the separate diaphragms. If there are no slabs, then it will all the nodes on that story level will, will be free nodes. Or if you can, um, if you have no, if you if you want to consider a flexible diaphragm, you can just assume there are no rigid diaphragms at those levels, but in, this, in that case, if you want to consider the flexible diaphragm, you have to mesh the floors uh, here. Anyway, this is a bit much detail, but uh, you have all the tools uh, to review the regularities and the diaphragm options uh, in the structure. <clears throat> 